Yeah. Nice shirt, Zane. Zane, what what is that shirt from? Do you? It's I have Saints. no idea. <laughs> It's correct. Right now, my friend is helping me replace my closet because nothing fits in my closet. So this, these, this <laughs> <laughs> styled by Garrett. Thanks, Garrett. Um, I, I don't <laughs> care what's on the shirt. I told him like I don't give a shit what's on the shirt if it fits on me well. I want it, and Matt. You're one of those guys that sees somebody in a band shirt and you're like, name three songs. Yeah, I will. <laughs> I will. Okay. Oh mo- yeah, most band tees I had. Didn't know the artist. Really? Yeah, it just looked cool. Like, I like the design. I was just like, I'll take it. Well, like, Whatever. if you're wearing a Metallica shirt or an ACDC shirt or even a Beatles shirt. But he knew. I, that's the most, like, staple basic I'll say this, tea. yes. Yeah. If it is now available in Target to the masses. Yeah. Like, the Beatles, ACDC, uh, Metallica, like you said. Kiss. Don't even ask. Hey, can I say something embarrassing? Yeah. I can't name one Beatles song. Really? I can't think of one Beatles song. Oh, come on. Once you say it, I will know, but well, like, I, think I, of I can't. Across the, the Universe, the movie Across the Universe. Uh-huh. Does that help anything? Like any scenes in that movie? I've never seen Across the okay. Universe. Hey, Jude. That's the Beatles? Yeah. Didn't Yellow, know Yellow that. Submarine. Okay, you say, I've heard the songs. Oh, I, I've I, obviously I, I, heard the I, songs. It's just what, if someone was like, name one song for yeah. the Beatles, I couldn't. Not not right now. Well, now I know Yellow Submarine. I'll never forget that. There you go. Never forget that. Hey, I can you, name every song in the 1975 album. Uh, there you go. Well, that's that's the Beatles of your time. It Let's is. get you a 1975 T-shirt then. I have no 1975. That way, if somebody merch. ever comes up and asks you, you yeah. can be prepared. Exactly. You'll feel really good. You yeah. have tons well, of Lord shirts. One, t- one time, I had Lord, Lord merch. Not good. It reminded me of my old merch. It was just not good. I used to <laughs> I have this. Uh, <laughs> is it, the thing is that like artist merch is never good. Is that it, they they just right. do it just to push it? And I get it. Like Taylor Swift's merch is not good hopefully it's gotten better it's, but it's, it's, but it's like that. purposely supposed to be really cheap right like i but i feel like taylor swift would want like really good quality merch out there yeah quality as in like the the you know the, she the material own the merch company yeah she mm-hmm. could own she could own everything that is pushing our stuff yeah if you think about it yeah so just have like the best stuff because why make you don't need the extra income? She it's a makes representation so much. of who you are. Mm-hmm. Yeah, high quality, especially it, Taylor Swift. I used to have this really weird, I'll call it like a dream fantasy scenario situation. When I was in middle school, I used to wear like a disturb shirt. Yeah, and uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I, used, I used to like daydream and envision somebody coming up to me and asking me to like sing a song or whatever yeah and i would get into a sing-off battle with another like (laughs) punk rock kid in school where we would be going back and forth and i would know more words than him and i would constantly wear it almost trying to encourage that moment waiting for someone to come up come up to you and like like, start that. yes and it never happened but i remember it was like always on my mind i was like somebody's gonna ask me to like like sing battle them right now (laughs) would you would you say you still sing pretty good like could you belt it like Kind of like me and Mariah. Yeah, are you not as good like, as me and Zane? Because me and Mariah are really good. <laughs> not, no. I, I would say me and Mariah are better than most people out there. <laughs> most artists. <laughs> Zane and I can sing. I'll we tell you one thing. Sing. I have fun when I'm singing, though. <laughs> and that, I got heart, okay? Uh, yeah. I have a lot of heart. I have you no know, heart. I, but uh, Mariah, Mariah, I've seen some of your TikToks. Okay. I've seen some of your TikToks. You posted a yeah, singing it TikTok. Yeah, it was moody. I... She's yeah. deleting it right now. <laughs> she barely eyeless that shit. Once this episode shit. goes up, then no one's going to be able to find shit. Because <laughs> you're priving it right now? Yep. Oh, so... Oh, sorry, guys. It's private the, by the time you hear it. I was under a lot of, of pressure. We had one Christmas song, and I was like, oh, now I got to... Now I gotta release something else. <laughs> the Christmas song. <laughs> gotta give the people what they want. They yeah. are asking for more. What was happening in that time, huh? In that time of our lives, just song after song. Even my, I was just like, what? Like, what was I thinking? We were just trying to do something. We were just staying I, busy. I think we were just. I think we were trying to set up projects for ourselves. Mm-hmm. We're like, oh, we're working on a project. Something for people to see to be like, okay, <laughs> your, <laughs> your song's still on Spotify, right? All I your hope stuff. Not. We're, oh, but all, it's the best that you can sit there and you can tell Alexa or like you can tell of like you know a little voice box to be like, play this on yeah, Spotify. Yeah, that's true. And boom, you're right there. You are registered. You got a hit. And you know what? There, it was a good three years where people, were like when there, whenever there was a party going on, somebody would always play it as a joke. And it would... Uh, it would make me melt. I would start <laughs> screaming. I would I would leave the I'd I would be calling my Uber when I heard my song starting to play. I was like, please shut it off, please, please, please. Because uh, I 
I have to always remind people that like, I just did it as a joke. Like, it's not like I wasn't in the studio. Just, mm, I want this out. <laughs> yeah, like you finally, were, yeah. it was just, but like, it's, it's a funny but people song. Don't, but I, I just got to like, remember that people don't care. Yeah. Uh -huh. like, people don't really care. Is they're yeah. playing it just because you're here and it's like just a, just the, a fun joke. The fact that there's 3000 monthly listeners oh, shit. on my Spotify. <laughs> that's wait. That's, does that mean that 3000 people this month went to his page and click the yeah, song to listen yeah. to it that's insane to me that three thousand people this month clicked one of your songs the poll all right can i check boom i i haven't boom is a bot i i definitely have i had a good amount when i posted but let me check it. zane eight thousand monthly listeners whoa yeah, oh the, my gosh zane. wow let me see give me that give me <laughs> that <laughs> give, give me that zane, cool. i could totally see boom being huge in like the uk yeah 5.2 million listens on boom oh my god i did not know at 5.2 million listens whoa zane, you are it, pro artist. it probably got picked up on like a playlist oh, in another yeah, country. Like influencer playlist. Cool. If I type in your name, will it pop up? Lonely, no, lonely I'm person? not even on the title. <laughs> it's it's Heath and Scott. And the WAP, my my WAP cover got 1.2 million. That that was art. that should be in a museum. You know what's crazy <laughs> to think about? Like there's uh, there's a 90 percent chance that Cardi B 100 percent clicked that you, because when you there's a 90 percent chance that she 100 percent <laughs> she because when you type when you type in like WAP W A P WAP on the search bar my video comes up like third or fourth. Whoa, on YouTube, That's sick. which is pretty crazy. So she had to have clicked that and been like. Is this? She clicks it and she immediately shut uh -huh. it off. You know, she immediately <laughs> shut it off. She was like, "I'm not watching anything more of this." It. I think she liked it. In my head, when it was doing really well, I was in my, I was so, just so big head. I was just like, "She's definitely gonna comment. She's definitely gonna like tweet it out or something." Nothing. Nothing. It's all right. Nothing. Should we run that intro? Let's, Let's run that hit intro. It, baby. Hit it. It's coffee talk, baby. Ow! <laughs> No, there's no music playing. Oh. Oh. But can't you add it? Jordan's in? gone. Or but we don't have like a, we have to press the button. Usually Jordan's No, no, there. no. That's, that's, that's stars. <laughs> that's Jeopardy. Heath. Heath. No, no. The, the corner one. The corner one. Heath. Oh, there, there, there we go. There we go. There we go. Ready? Hold Unfiltered. Why is Jeopardy on the sound pad? I have no idea. Is it's it still on the sound pad right emergencies. now? <laughs> Welcome back to Zane Heath Unfiltered. I'm Zane. I'm Heath. I'm Matt. I'm Mariah. And we are unfiltered. Thank you again for stopping by. <laughs> Thanks for passing by. Thank you so much. I hope you're having a lovely Monday, Tuesday morning, whatever time it is. Just on your way to work. Remember when we used to do that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Also, we haven't done it in a while. Make sure to leave a review for this podcast on Apple and Spotify. Five star. Just leave it a five star. And write something from the heart. Yeah. Tell us how much this podcast has meant to you. Mm -hmm. And we love to read them. So please, please. Because we you. are nosy. Yeah, we really are. Um, well, we're here now. How's everybody doing? What are we, what's, our, what's our feelings right now? I'm feeling good. I feel good. I feel like... Um, I've been waking up really early, so I feel like I'm getting double days. Yes. It's insane. It's the best when you are finally like on a good sleep cycle. The days just feel so long. Yeah, they do. But no naps though, right? No, no naps. My, but I crash hard at night. My, my stretch artist, she told me... <laughs> you're, most, you're what? That's the most LA shit, I think. <laughs> your stretch she, artist. Yeah, she stretches me. And it, like she, For her, it's art, so it's like my stretch artist. She told me how to call her that. <laughs> I, <laughs> contractually <laughs> when it costs more than a hundred dollars a session yeah. stretch artist does she have like a flexible schedule <laughs> ah, no. she's back baby she's back and she's coming in strong All right, that's good um no no that's my <laughs> no my uh i don't even know what i i i i've I've, in the past, I've called her. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm seeing my stretcher, and that doesn't sound right either. <laughs> yeah. Oh, she just stretches me out. Um, she's like my. I would say she's uh my. What do you call her? Like a muscular therapist, a trainer. I like, I feel like it's like some she's type a, of physical therapist. Yeah, yeah physical, therapist. physical therapy, she's, mobility she's, trainer. Yeah, like she she pretty much just like stretches all my joints. It's like a forty five minute session. It's so good. I've been doing a lot lately because mm -hmm. I've, I I just like work. I've been working out. I still work out a lot. It's heavy lifting, so I get very, very sore everywhere. She right. just stretches me out, and it's been, like, amazing, right? 
But where was I going to get to? Oh, and she told me that this past like half month and April, will Mercury's in retrograde. And I don't usually believe in really? that shit. But when she said that, it like ran down through my body. I was like, wow, I think you're right. For, yeah. for like for me for the first time so weird things are it. just gonna happen shit hits she, the fan she said she said don't sign anything don't sign any documents or don't like lock in anything in the next like month i was like that's so interesting like just how often like, just does it retrograde do it. i think it happens once a year and it's usually this time of year i don't like, uh, it, it's I a, wait for the internet and people to tell me that Mercury's in retrograde, I guess. Why do I feel like people always so say... So three it, to four times a year, the planet Mercury appears to travel backward across the sky. Uh, we refer to these periods uh, as Mercury in retrograde, of apparent retrograde emotion. It's it's a weird thing that this is still, like, not, not a myth. It's just something that... It's something you can't see. Like, it hasn't been, it like, be proven. It cannot be proven. It's just... A lot of people believe it, and yeah. a lot of people don't. And it's just like we have to just. But it's just astrology. Like to me, it's like it should be proven. You should be able to prove that because it's something in space. I don't know. Well, it, I mean, what's proven is that it looks like Mercury does go back, and I guess they think that that has an effect on like the stars yeah. and our zodiacs and our alignment with ourselves. Yeah, I mean, it's got you. Got to be able to feel something, you know. Yeah. I was going to say, to add on to the whole, you know, solar system stuff, the eclipse is coming up, and it is going to be wild. I was going to go see it. Well, because it's passing through Austin and Dallas. Yeah. And so my parents get to see it. I was going to go out to Dallas, and I was going to go see Vampire Weekend's first show in Austin at noon. And... But I was going to come down from Dallas. Dude, the flights. So I have a buddy who, Jacob, he does Mega Yacht, the clothing brand. He hit me up and goes, are you going to go to Dallas for the eclipse? And I'm like, yeah, for sure. Like, I'm planning on is, it. Is he Dallas goes, like a, you looked? Dallas is in the line of where the eclipse. That's the line that it's going to be. So it oh, goes. So we're not going to see it? No, we're not going to see it. Wait. Is it? Oh, is it because it's exactly a, it's, the way the way it's okay? Okay, yeah, sorry. It's yeah, the yeah. alignment of the sun and the moon. I was so excited to like go outside in. the house and see and that. No, my buddy who told me that he was going, he has these his parents who they were already planning on flying in. He goes, but have you looked at the flights? And I'm like, no, I haven't. He goes, dude, they're insane because all these people are flying into Dallas and Austin to view Crazy. the eclipse because it's like a once in a lifetime chance that this will happen if you are in the right location. Yeah. Flights were insane. It was like going abroad. No way. For uh, da uh, from LA to Dallas, and then I was started being you know on Eclipse TikTok, and people are saying how crazy of a day it's going to be because we need to get the word out that the eclipse is happening because there's going to be uh traffic, all this kind of mayhem. It's like three minutes of darkness. Yeah, three minutes of darkness, and then the twenty minutes kind of before and the twenty minutes after. It's like mm -hmm. that scene in Apocalypto. Where yeah, and are they j just traffic and all that in general just because people are going to be getting out of their cars and like be filming yeah. like that type of just it's chaos. all this mayhem yeah. where everyone wants to be in the right place, and then I was running through my it's mind. It's pretty I'm crazy. Like, oh my gosh, are we even going to be able to get from Dallas to Austin and I just had so much anxiety about it all the money that I was going to spend on it and I said I'm not going it's crazy it's going to look like the world is ending I, for I was just thinking imagine you were alive thousands of years ago and yeah. you didn't know what it was and you saw it for the first time you thought it was God yeah I mean that's the most like I would I, I would think I was about to die <laughs> so that line is it's not what the way it looks right it, it, that line that you just showed on the map that's where it's going to get dark only Yes, that's, that's the where, orbital path of where the illusion of the eclipse. Got it. Okay, our so people are going to be. Able to I, see. I remember. Uh, I, do you remember the time I told you guys I was in Lebanon when yeah. like a, a, a eclipse Ooh. happened, and I um, it was still bright outside though. But when you looked at the sun, it just it was it just felt like a dark glowing like black ball with like a ring around it, and we weren't allowed to look at the sun. We had to wear glasses. Right. Or mm -hmm. they, I remember being kids, and they were just like, "Get away from the sun!" Like it, like like we were being attacked. It was really scary for a little bit, but. That's why I asked if that's like the the dark pad because I apparently we were not in the line of the darkness. That's pretty crazy. Uh, it I is. did not know that by the way. This is my first time learning that there's a there's a there's a certain path or there's a certain area where it gets dark and everywhere else is. I've still been normal. having like some anxiety about it where I'm like, was it a stupid decision for me not to go? But I, I just I trust that the universe will bring me an eclipse at some point in my life before I die. It's I one still of those think things we're gonna see it. it here. I think it's just you might get a longer time of darkness along that line. Okay, oh. what, sorry, what is that? Because, like, I mean, think about it. It doesn't make sense if we're that far. 
these things are supposed to be millions of miles away, right? Not millions, but hundreds of thousands of miles away. Yeah, but the sun looks different depending on where you're at. And like the moon looks different depending on where you're sure. at because it's, it's where it you're at. I guess it shouldn't, but that's like the way the planetary alignment is. It shouldn't though. What? Because they're <laughs> thousands and thousands and thousands of miles away. Um, I don't know. There's, I think there's a lot of science. Oh, br- let's bring in Neil deGrasse Tyson in here <laughs> too. The, the this. you see where it crosses right there? That's when it happened in 2017. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. That's when like Trump looked up at the. <laughs> Remember, like, he looked up and he was like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." I just I, can you imagine though the people who do not know about the eclipse is going to happen? They're going to be like, "What the hell is going yeah, on?" Yeah, because you know there, there's thousands of people that just are going to see it for the first time, like they didn't know it was going to happen. It's going to be yeah. sick. It's going to be sorry really for sounding like an idiot about all this. I, I, this is my first no. time learning that there was areas that it was dark. Did not know that. I thought it was so bright everywhere you just couldn't look at the sun. Maybe, but now, now I know. Cool. Damn, I kind of wish you went so you could send us like I a know. quick video instead of seeing it on TikTok for the first well, time. Well, the, the upside it though is that I'm going to Korea. Are you actually doing for it? The We're sol- doing it? For the solar eclipse. <laughs> we'll be, I, uh, well, I think, who knows? We may actually it will be the weekend before. But no, yeah, we're going to Korea. We're skipping Coachella and doing South Korea. Wow. Go in a soul, baby. Honestly, you're, you're, I think you're going to have more fun than Coachella. <laughs> okay, this I'm picture helps a lot, guys. Look, look, look. So we'll see 30% of it? You're going to get a total eclipse of the heart along that line. And then <laughs> going outward, your percentage is dropping. But is that color, though, like what it's going to look like? Like it gets orangey for the people in the orange, and then it's just No, I be- think just how much sun you see or how bright it's going to be. I think it that's looks just like. a... Uh, yeah. Wow. It's a cool. magical thing. Hey, Florida's going to get 50%, so that could be cool. It's, it's but you know, when, when you think of... Think about it again. It's not that big of a deal. It's just going to get dark. All the lights are going to turn on because that's how it is. And it, like the, those buildings all just light up. Yeah. When it gets dark I automatically. Think it's just the beauty of the alignment of yeah. it all. Mm-hmm. And it's all happening right but you're there right. before it's your just, eyes. It's just going to cause chaos. It'd be kind of cool though. If it, imagine if Eclipse happened like once a week. Like <laughs> just, oh, it's happening. There's going to be so, like, imagine the amount of protocols that goes out yeah. when like when it gets dark every week they just have something that happens i forget what town it was but they're sending the national guard there to um basically make sure everybody's okay because they're getting such an influx of people of people coming to like be outside i would love to see the dots what do you think the, the worst position is to be in during an eclipse um i, I mean it just turns night right so it, it's i guess it's I yeah, guess you'd have nothing, to be doing something. Like I'm thinking that of something. I'm trying sunlight. to think of something like funny. I don't know, diffusing like, a bomb. Like if you're getting your blood drawn outside, you know, <laughs> <laughs> and they're about to put the needle in. <laughs> imagine giving. We got them, <laughs> dude. Imagine giving birth in the middle of the eclipse. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that is like a special baby. And like ecl- they're like, he's coming. I can see the head. <laughs> he's crowning. <laughs> An eclipse baby. We're born. That's in a the demonic eclipse. baby, dude. Demonic, or just or, any, or any theories? Do we got any theories of what people say is going to happen when the eclipse happens? Is there going to be some sort of? I don't know. I just always remember that scene in Apocalypto where they're just about to sacrifice him. They're about to chop off his head at the top of that temple, oh, and, then and then it goes off, and then they stop, and then he was the chosen. They one. They stop like sacrificing all the other people, but then they make him go run down that field and shoot arrows at them. Great movie. Oh, dude, great that- movie. I got a strange feeling about it. What do you think is going to happen when the eclipse happens? I don't know. I think we're going to forget about it, and then it's going to yeah. be on TikTok, and we're going to be like, oh, shit, that was today. That was today. Yeah. And then that's it. And it's going to be it's gonna be really big for like two days, and then something. <laughs> yeah, we haven't had an eclipse TikTok yet, so I'm really excited. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and then the memes. Yeah, it's going to be When great. the eclipse, I, I yeah, just can't wait so to see funny. it. Can't wait to see it. Come on. You should do your, that's a solar eclipse. <laughs> or do you say lunar? That, is it polar? A lo- oh, po- oh, polar. What's a polar eclipse? That, I don't wrong. know. Oh, there is no polar eclipse. Yeah. Oh, it's but you know what? Eclipse. I should do that as a. Just no, repost no. it. Yeah. That was like three days ago. No. <laughs> it's a polar eclipse. It's a polar eclipse. Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our sponsor of this podcast, Prize Picks. Prize Picks. If you guys don't know what Prize Picks is, Prize Picks is America's number one fantasy sports app with more than 3 million members. It's the easiest and most exciting way to get in on the action while you watch your favorite sports and players. You just pick more or less on two or more player stats and watch the winnings roll in, baby. March is over, but the biggest moments in college basketball tip off the month of April. Be a part of the action on Prize Picks for both men's and women's college basketball. Yes, and you can now win up to 100 times 
times your money on price picks with as little as four correct picks. You can turn $10 into $1,000 with basketball, hockey, and college basketball entries today on price picks, America's number one fantasy sports app. And price picks is the best way to get action on sports in more than 30 states across the country, including California, Texas, and Georgia. Yeah, and you want to play alongside some of price picks' favorite players like Meek Mill and Sugar Sean O'Malley? You can now find community plays under the promos tab of the app to view entries for some of the biggest names in the price picks community each week. And price picks even offers injury insurance so that your entries stay in play even if one of your players gets injured. For basketball games, if you have a player who exits the game in the first half and does not return in the second, price picks will have your back and not count that as a loss. And Price Picks is super simple to play. You can make your picks and submit your entry in less than 60 seconds. Quick withdrawals, easy gameplay, and an enormous selection of players and stat types are what make Price Picks the number one fantasy sports app. Mm, and my favorite part is that Price Picks now offers Apple Pay for quick and easy deposits into your account this basketball season. Baby, you just got a beep beep right there. Broop. Done. So if you're trying to get in on the action this sports season, babe, you're going to download the app today and use our code unfiltered for a first deposit match up to $100, baby. That's right, baby. All you have to do is download the app today and use code unfiltered for your first deposit match up to $100. Mm -hmm. Pick more, pick less. It's that easy, baby. Thank you, Price Picks, for sponsoring today's episode. We love you and thank you. I had something uh, pretty freaky happen to Patricia and I. This is a bit of a story. Okay. Let's so hear it. this happened, oh, I think last week. Maybe week before. I can't remember. It was a really busy day. We had to do this podcast. We had to do the other one. And Where uh, were you guys I was at? exhausted. I was at home. Oh, okay. And I took like a 7 p.m. nap, which I hate doing. I hate napping like when it's so late in the evening. You're yeah. like, this is going to screw up my sleep cycle. I'm taking a nap, and Patricia wakes me up. She's like, Matt, there's somebody in front of our house. And I'm like, what? She's like, he's holding the sign, and he's like staring right at me. And I'm like, huh? Huh? Like, what's going on? Like... And like, she's like, please, please. And I'm like, you know, I'm just jostled awake, walking toward the front of our house. And we live in like in a pretty kind of like busy area in like West Hollywood with a lot of foot traffic. And I'm like, oh, I don't know. Was this? Yeah. She goes, no, this man is staring right at me. He's How far away? Like how far from the she door? She said he's standing right in front of our tree facing our window. Like in the tree, we have like a front lawn. Like he's not right, on the right. sidewalk. Oh, that's he's like just, Michael Myers vibes. It's like yes. not too close to the door, but like far enough and close enough where it's just like, and Patricia, the way Patricia and how intense she was about yeah. it was like, no, like this is it, it's scaring me. Like, and I'm, I'm calming myself down. I'm trying to calm myself down. But is dude, it like getting dark at this point? It's or? already dark outside. Oh, it is. Already dark. Oh, I thought you said it was 3 p.m. No, it was like 7 p.m. And now it was oh, like 8 p.m. It was, yeah. I can't, it was right at dark. And I'm like walking up to like the window and it's like pretty front facing. And the, the thing is though, it's like pitch black, but the lights are on inside. And you know when it's dark outside, yeah, and yeah. You're, like you're like, I have to turn off the lights. They can see you more than you can see. Oh, at this point, did you turn off all your lights? Yes. yes. So I had to Good turn off job, my lights, Matt. but then that was about to freak me out because I'm about to turn mm -hmm. off my lights and I'm looking out this window. <laughs> what else did we do? What else? What other light hacks did we use? I, <laughs> so I yes. turn off. I turn off the lights and I'm standing there, and no one's in front of the tree. I'm like. He's not there. And she's like holding my shirt. She's like, he's out there. I promise. And I'm like, <laughs> and so I'm standing there in the dark, looking outside through the window. And then I look down at our driveway. And this guy is like no. sitting there looking right back at no! me. No! So my heart, my heart sinks. I and I'm would like, immediately be on Zillow. Bro, I would have, yeah, I would have burned my house down, my <laughs> own house down. Staring right at me. And we had this old security camera that Patricia at the time, did not hook up because we have all like the ring cameras now. And this was on a different system, but I knew it was right there. And immediately I pick up the camera and I look right at him and I just like put it right on our no, like. Uh, you did that in front of him? I looked right at him. And <laughs> bold. <laughs> you should have called Heath up. So I, <laughs> and I set the camera up and I'm looking like right at him and I'm like, okay, maybe this is just a crazy person. This is messed up. I'm going to get my phone and I'm going to call. Uh, just like neighborhood watcher, just to report that there is like a crazy person right there. I didn't want to call like fucking 911. It, he like, wasn't close enough. The way Patricia was explaining, like, was he in front of this tree or was he on the sidewalk tree? And yeah. there was a big confusion where I kept thinking this is a crazy person on the sidewalk tree. And then she finally, like, I'm like, tell me, what did you see? Yeah. And then as I'm talking to her and she's telling me, no, it was this tree, this tree right here. And I was like, oh shit. Okay. Like he was like on our property yeah. taunting, mm. looking right at Patricia. And what, by the time we're talking, this guy gets up and like walks away. And I'm like, oh fuck. So then Patricia, she was, I needed to walk her to her car. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, I'm going to walk you to the car because she needed to go get groceries. 
And then we're walking, and he's, like, further down the street. He has his, like, hood on and is walking away. Y'all went to get groceries? I would have locked uh, up. Uh, baby. <laughs> I would have been on DoorDash. There's no way. It could wait. Let, door, let the DoorDash driver come uh-huh. drop that food I don't, off. I can't remember if Patricia was getting groceries. She had to leave for something. Okay. And that's the only thing I could see her like leaving that late at night. She was like saving a life. She, 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 I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> so the man disappears and we're like very weird, very spooked by it. We tell our neighbors about it. We're like, I don't know. That was weird. And like this sign he was holding, it was like, then as I walked further, it looked like it was like a newspaper. And there wasn't anything written. Did on he the leave anything paper. behind? Did you like go out and like Only see if he dropped the anything newspaper. else? And Only the newspaper thing- said April fourth, two thousand and twenty-four. <laughs> He's like a time traveler. <laughs> Went through a loop. Yeah, right. And this, once again, my this neighborhood that we live in is so safe. Like yeah. occasionally, yeah, no, I know, I know where you I'll live. It's like a, a, it yeah. is like the nicest part of West Hollywood. I love it. And uh, so that happens. That happens. Don't tell me he's back. No. So a week later, when I'm back in, or last week, or I'm in Alabama, we get a ring doorbell notification. Someone's at our door ringing our doorbell. And what's weird is uh, earlier in the day, another woman rang the doorbell, kind of a professional looking woman, stood there, stopped, and then went to the person who lives right across from us, rang their doorbell, knocked, came back to ours, rang, knocked, and then walked away. Yeah. Like, that was weird. I don't know what that was. Salesperson. Then we get another ring door note. Patricia is like, answer it, answer it. Because this guy is, uh, it's two guys, and he looks almost like a DEA agent. Oh. Like, like he, you know, DEA agents have like a zip up kind of like yeah. bomber jacket kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, no, uh, exactly. yeah. Uh, 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 yeah. And I go, oh, I'm like, this looks like an important thing. And like, I see like a flashlight kind of a thing going on. And I'm like, uh, yes, can I help you? And they go, yes, we've received uh, reports that there has been a peeping Tom who's been harassing women oh, in this neighborhood. No. Have you guys had any interactions like yes. that? And I go, yes. funny you say that. A week ago, uh, my wife was about to walk out around like 7 or 8 p.m. And she said that there was a man standing outside the house. And I and I tell him the whole story. I have my phone like this, okay? I think it's like a police officer, someone who's working for law enforcement. Yeah. Right. And I'm sitting there explaining the whole story, giving him all the details as I would a police officer, okay? Yeah. I'm saying like the time, date, explanation, descriptions of what I could see from this guy. I am and on the goes, edge of I my did, seat. I'm like, this is like, so, and this then, is crazy. And then, but then he's like, well, is your wife with you right now? I'd like to ask her some questions on what she saw too. And I'm like, sure. Even though I just explained it all to you. And I give the phone back to Patricia. And Patricia this whole time is like, I don't want to talk to them. And I'm like, why not? Tell them what you saw. It's a police officer. This is she, something. I was so, lying. I was so faking. She, so she is handing the phone. So she gets the phone and she starts explaining what she form. saw. And he goes, and then he asks a question like, oh, well, how'd you make that? How'd it make you feel? And like, and I'm like, what the fuck is this cop asking? How what did it make, make, you make you feel? feel? So I'm like kind of looking, listening to this. And I go, give me that. And she, and I look down back at the phone. It's KTLA. Like the microphone, the news reporter is right up to the mic to our ring doorbell camera. To and the, the flashlight ring? and the flashlight I saw is the camera. What? They're, they were doing a full no. on interview with the Ooh. news. There are Wait, a lot of do that. So weird. So I this whole time is thinking was thinking that weird. I'm talking to police like law enforcement. Because yeah. I didn't bother to look down at the camera. I was like, whatever. It's so That's oh, we uh, we've been doing crazy. an interview <laughs> on the news. They're just they're just panning no. to the door and it's just your Matt, voice. Did, they so, couldn't see. Is you. it a, is it yeah. No, it's not. So, so then so no, days it's not. So days so we give the whole story and then right when we hang up I was like and Patricia hangs up and I'm like, why didn't you tell? She goes, I didn't know it was the news, but I was trying to tell you. And I'm like, fucking tell me. There's a mute button. You could just be like, you know, it's the news you're talking to, right? Like, ugh. Like I would have hated that, especially the way I was like, because I would probably, because I would be, I would be stumbling over my words. I'd be like, kind of like, like I, I wouldn't be. So, oh my, peeping Tom is in, this it? in West Hollywood. Click. Is there a link to the story? Like, Matt, was that him? Yes. The search is on tonight for a man who is exposing himself to women, harassing them, and even looking through their windows. Police say the suspect. That's has like I thought it was a DEA agent. Look at the oh, jacket. Oh my gosh. Hollywood. I mean, he was sitting and leaning against 
um, the tree in our yard staring directly at me, which freaked me out. So, Patricia! Okay. We couldn't, so like, Matt, when, you, so when you were, when you were, when you were describing the sky in my head, I was picturing kind of like one of those, one of those, like, like a tweaker, like, like, like a tweaker that you would see on like Hollywood Boulevard. Yeah. And, uh, honestly, they don't look that scary walking by. They, it's just, you, you know, just they, know what they, they are. Like, you just, you know, you know what's going on. It's, on. It's, you kind of, you, you kind of, you almost feel kind of safe walking by those people. It's more, because, it's more sad than scary. Yeah. Yeah. But Matt, that was a full on like documentary serial killer. Like, yeah, bro. That gave me goosebumps. If I saw that outside my fucking apartment, Ugh. it just, and it was so much worse than I expected. It was, it was so much worse. It was freaky is that, you know, Patricia and I, we like live right there on like a very high traffic uh, sidewalk. And we're always like, sometimes when we're like hanging out at night, we're like, we need, let's close the curtains. Cause you know, when you walk by hell, I'll even just look at people's home. Like, yeah. cause it's that intimate. It, it, yeah. When you, are, so. when you can look into people's homes and we've always like just cover up. And then sometimes I'll be like that, that blind, I don't trust. Yeah. I want that closer. Cause like, anybody could be looking at us yeah and we've always thought that and sure mm. enough and that's why like patricia's energy she was like this is like a man who stayed like the thing is she knew something in her gut was like wrong it would it wasn't like a yeah crazy kind of like drunk homeless person yeah. who's women's intuition yeah. yeah and i feel like patricia's the type to like if she did see a harmless person kind of like be just being a weird or being a tweaker she was just been like more like, oh, fuck that. yeah, she'd be like, there's a crazy person. Yeah, there's a crazy person outside. But, but like, she, was she like, like no. that was like murder vibes. That was fucking murder. I, just, I, I can't get over the fact that he was o trying to open windows like during this. I can't get over the mic with the ring camera. <laughs> yeah, that was. Because <laughs> that's a crazy shot. Because <laughs> we, like, after we, d we realized, you know, it was the news or I found out, we were like, okay, but like, there's no way they're going to like have a clip of someone interviewing a ring camera on and, the news. And sure enough. And then two days pass and I go, I should look up that peeping Tom thing to see if like we make <laughs> the segment. Patricia and I are sitting there watching it and then we're like, oh, we're not in this. We're not. And then what the <laughs> Patricia like paused it and like walked like out of the room. She was like, I can't well, believe it. Well, look, I'm glad you guys are okay. And I'm, th I'm, this I situation happening, now you guys know exactly what you need to set up, what to have prepared. Oh, yeah. To, to never let anything like that, to get that far. Did you get like, your cameras and stuff oh, set up? yeah, yeah, yeah. We're okay. locked up. We're like, let's lure him back. <laughs> like, like, Patricia. Like, she go, opens the blinds. Go, like, she like, put, try it on swimsuits. Just Matt, like. <laughs> that's what, you get into a mode like that where you want to catch this guy. You start like, remember when the guy kept breaking my house? We were putting shit out in front of the window. We yeah. put our laptop with a stack of, we were like, we want the to reel trap. this guy in. Cause reel him in. Because most of all, you just want this man off the streets. Like yeah. you don't know if he's going to be back there. Like what if he felt some emotion to that area and it wants to come back? They're mm -hmm. fucking crazy. Before we continue this episode, Episode is sponsored by Lumi and Mando. That's right. Thank you, Zane. We love Lumi's whole body deodorant for its one of a kind pH optimized formula that controls odor up to 72 hours. You believe that? That's right. And now you can share the best kept deodorant secret with the men in your life. Introducing Mando Whole Body Deodorant. Mando has the same great formula as Lumi and comes in cologne quality scents for pits, packages, and feet. In a clinical study, men who showered with soap and used Mando Whole Body Deodorant in their pits had an odor score of 0 out of 10 after 12 hours. Woo! No odor, baby. Men who showered with soap alone had an armpit odor score of 8 out of 10 after 12 hours. Mm, P-E-U. Look, I love using Mando Deodorant because it has a 72-hour whole body odor control, and it's got scents like bourbon leather, so, you know, it's no surprise that we loving this stuff, baby. And I personally just love the fact that I smell good and Mariah wants to be closer to me. And this is the only deodorant I've ever seen make that happen. <laughs> and the best part is that Mando is safe to use anywhere on your body. Your pits, your package, your belly button, your butt crack, those stinky crevices, your stomach folds, and your feet. And even better, it's created by a doctor who saw firsthand how normal BO was being misdiagnosed and mistreated. And he made it super safe. It's aluminum-free, baking soda-free, cruelty-free, dye-free, and it's even vegan. Exactly. So, you know, this is going to be perfect. First-time customers that want to get a pack, they actually have the Mando Starter Pack, which is perfect for the new customers out there. It comes with a solid stick deodorant, cream tube deodorant, two free products of your choice, like mini body wash and deodorant wipes, and free shipping, baby. Let me show you my favorite product while we're here, the Lumi Whole Body Deodorant. Um, as you know, or can probably smell, I'm a dancer, and it's important for me to have have a deodorant that really works. 
So I prefer the Lumi Whole Body deodorant for pits, privates, and beyond. And luckily, we have a discount code to help you get the hookup on your favorite smelling whole body deodorant on the market. New customers are going to get $5 off a starter pack with our exclusive offer. Yes, and that equates to over 40% off your starter pack. Use code Zane and Heath at shopmando.com, S-H-O-P-M-A-N-D-O.com. And for my girls, use code Zane and Heath at LumiDeodorant.com. That's right. It's time to smell better naked mm. and your partner will thank you. Woo! Thank you, Lumi, for sponsoring this podcast. We love you. <laughs> you know what I you wish just, I did, though? I here, <laughs> not wish I did. If I knew it was the news, I would have been like, <laughs> we were mortified. <laughs> like, I would have been like, oh, my wife, she was shook it up like a ragged <laughs> doll. Oh, just, <laughs> like, just to just see like where a clip to go viral. To like, yeah. yeah, unbelievable. Never. No, my, that's my wife. Matt, we're and you know about what? That's here. a that's like, a mo- that's a moment where like you've probably been waiting for just like a moment with the news because it's really rare yeah. to get it like the news come up to you. Like Dude, you could have been the new Antoine Dobson. Yeah. yeah. Uh-uh, not in this neighborhood. We got, we got a peeping Tom <laughs> in West Hollywood. Hide your kids. Hide your wife. Well, Be glad on you alert. Guys are okay, yeah. because that's very scary. But it was just. Uh, and I'm so glad, like, because Patri- uh, Patricia at first was like, don't answer this ring doorbell camera. She thought, like, something, she thought it, at first it kind imagine, of was o- Imagine cops. opening the door, like, what what could have happened? I would have been, like, filming me from neck down. <laughs> like, oh, no, sorry. Hands. I was talking like, <laughs> about the peeping Tom, sorry. Oh. <laughs> Zane would be like, can you get me from this side? <laughs> <laughs> this is my good angle. <laughs> yeah, could you just stand on this side? Oh, wait, can I say that again? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Here, can wait, you cut can that? you send cut me that? and I can, I, can I cut it? Wait, peeping. actually... <laughs> No, I wasn't involved. No, 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 no. My my friend was telling me about it. No, my, no, my girlfriend's actually lying. She was actually lying, so you can't post that. She was lying. 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 Uh, can I talk about this on a podcast? <laughs> but it's, when are, when are you putting this out? Because my our episode has to come out. <laughs> can you guys send me the footage? Send me like whatever you guys have. <laughs> That's so, that's actually probably the wildest thing that I've heard. Yeah. yeah so great. when he um when the news guy opened the door, was he hiding that like was, were they trying to hide that they were part of the news? He didn't have when he when I first answered. Yeah. Because I saw a light on, but I thought it was like a cop. Badge when you when you have like, like a light uh, coming into a camera, it kind yeah. of just like flashes and you can't see. Why wouldn't they announce that they're the news? You, you, I feel right? like they're supposed he to. He should have. Isn't I there some sort I of law? It's, it's, a, it's your home. It's in front of your home. Isn't there a law where... I was just so dumb. I just was like walking around like... Because we were watching like some games and I was walking around Patricia's house when it was or Patricia's parents' house and it was like dark in the other rooms and I'm just like acting like I'm on speakerphone. I'm not yeah. trying to be like... I should have looked down at the ring camera just to see who I was talking to. Yeah. I just accepted it was law enforcement. Investigative reporters sometimes will not identify themselves. When they're looking for information and want to keep people talking to them. Yeah. All right. Do you think they went to every single person on that street? Like That's knock on why, every so door? That woman who went up there earlier in the day, yeah. I think she was like a scout for the news to try to like scout out the stories and be oh, like, give okay. a story. Is it okay if we come by at this time? Got it. But that video though of the one guy, I've been trying to like feel like, where is that on our block? But it doesn't seem like it's on our block, that yeah. one. So I'm like, I don't know if there had been another report of someone on our exact block but they got lucky with hitting us up and yeah we were willing to give the story but how's patricia doing like mentally that would that would that, that would, would sit with me that would sit with me for for a little bit well i think not because like a thief so, is different this is just scared right there in the moment of like yeah. walking out to our place and seeing him but he wasn't you know doing the thing he was just like looking right at her matt i even like even looking i think is just such a it it's again it's like the michael myers effect like like someone just standing there and looking at you i like i feel like you know the I most would... embarrassing thing i said though to the who i thought was a police officer because yeah. patricia said he's out there with a the sign but the thing is though he was holding open a newspaper maybe he was like covering himself yeah. with uh. it but i kept going like, what's this sign and the first thing i thought that there's a man outside with the sign I thought this was like a crazy fan. Like someone was like taunting me with something. Crazy fan experience. And and when I was talking to the cops, I was like, yeah. And you know, I have like this big following online. I thought it was a fan. I thought it was a fan who was taunting (laughs) me outside of my home. Well, good thing they didn't put that. Yeah, exactly. And that's the first thing when I'm really big on social media. (laughs) Everyone would be like, who's... (laughs) Yeah. I just hope that guy doesn't see like the ring doorbell camera and like the texture of the wall and is like... I know that place. Mm. I'm coming back. Like, that's terrifying. Yeah. There is a uh, office episode 
where this guy <laughs> is holding a newspaper and he asks Phyllis for directions and he's exposing himself on the newspaper. Oh, yeah, because Phyllis comes in and she's like all shooken up. Like, yeah. what happened? Did, didn't so. they cut that scene out of the office? There was like, m there are certain moments that they so. cut out of the show and yeah, I feel like that was clips. one of them. No, yeah. they didn't, but there's definitely clips that they <laughs> Right, out. the office, like geek. No, they didn't. No, they did not. No, they actually <laughs> didn't. I know exactly which scenes they cut out. She's like, uh, my favorite three scenes. Episode. <laughs> it's just crazy, like, thinking about this, but then also the fact that somebody was in your home, Zane, and walked around yep. and stole from I inside your home that. while you're sleeping. You know, I think about that so often. How you guys were in the house and somebody came in. But you know what? To, for me, I think that scenario is 10 times worse than my scenario. And this guy was in my house, and I get that. But there's a diff there's like, for me, there's a difference between someone going in your house and stealing something than somebody like that in front of your house masturbating trying to get in like what the fuck are they yeah. trying to do Cause like if, if they if you did have a window open or something and you guys were sleeping he would have come in and stood over the bed like to me to me that guy has a weapon on him also to to do something like what you're just going into the house and and what there, there's they there's, want i was like reading on reddit's about why these guys sock and like want to masturbate in front of people. What, yeah, what's it's the, like a pa it's a power dynamic that they have a control over of you, and they want to see you scared, and that you see them like they and that like it, and they want you thinking and being worried about it. Like that is also getting them off. And then there were some people who were like. If you ever see it, you should laugh at them and laugh at, like, point and laugh at them. Though that oh, sounds that's like a, the that's worst. A good, it sounds like crazy. the most counterintuitive thing ever. Yeah, right? I, you're like, you need to take it seriously. You want to be like, get the like fuck away from me. But by you being like, get away, what are you doing? That's a that, really good point. That is what's, sorry, pardon my. Uh, yeah, I, I did it a couple me. times too. Don't worry. Uh, I, we stopped. Just blur, I, we I stopped. I stopped myself. <laughs> <laughs> um, but that by laughing at them, that's when they're like, the whole mission's like ruined, and then you can't. You 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 have to stop because you can't. Yeah, like it makes them snap out of it. Because someone said I've always laughed at them, and some followed up. Goes this. This is what you should do if you really want to like get your like. Yeah, the, you take back control over them. Is you just be like you are look like an idiot. Ha ha he he. But also that person could be like, <laughs> <laughs> like what's so funny? <laughs> uh, but. So spooky. Point and laugh. Like the last thing I would have thought about. That turns, out, turns out they're into like that shame They stuff. love that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Shame, like, shame uh, king. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> loser. You're doing different like characters <laughs> to see what's gonna get them to stop. I hope that somebody, because... It doesn't look like a homeless person because he has a car and he's no, getting dude, around. No, dude, he was dressed nice. So like that's what made it. That's what made it scarier. Somebody has to recognize him. Yeah, TikTok, yeah. do your thing. Yeah, seriously, that's a pretty good side. Pro uh, it's our right side profile. But I if I saw that, I saw a mustache when he was sitting down in the alleyway. But him wearing the black hoodie—that's exactly what he was wearing. Yeah, and that looked more like the description. That one clip of that guy I was like, "That's him." If you had to like. Put a line of people up. Oh, would and Patricia I be him? able to point out like in a lineup? Yes, Patricia did. Uh, Actually, they, it, couldn't Patricia be sent there? Is do they still do? Do they do lineups for this type of situation? Is if Patricia was like, you know what? I know what he looks like. It, yeah, that's when they would. I think they still do lineups. But you know what no, I, don't I know get they do, about but for this situation. Would they yeah. do lineups? Yeah, yeah okay. but what I don't get about lineups, and I never feel like I understand it in the movies. Those are all the other people that have been arrested. And they just fit the description. No one ever gets called in for a lineup, or do they? Oh, yeah, they do. I don't it's know. Both. I'm pretty sure it's both. So some people are inmates who are like there, if, and then some are people off the street. Like if police are suspicious of somebody, they bring them in and put them in the lineup because they yeah. fit the description. But in the lineup, I guess I is, it other, picture, is it other criminal uh, criminals, or is it people it in prison, random. people outside of prison that fit I, the wow. description? Like, so, like, say you get like a speeding ticket or something, right? And a cop pulls you over. For speeding and then he looks at you and there was a, like a call in for uh, a burglary murder something that just happened and the description was your height your eye color dark features but has bleached blonde hair and wearing a silver chain sure they'd be like okay i just got you for speeding but you fit this description i need you to and come there in. it could be you know, the location that you're at, it could be the person. I want to be in a lineup one time. Like, I would love to come in as a, like... But imagine they're like, him. Oh, yeah, and you're right. like, excuse me? That's what happened to my friend's husband. 
Wait, really? I talked about they had the documentary on him. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he got, like, wrongly convicted? Yeah, mm-hmm. because he looks just like the guy who did it, and he went to prison for, like, three years. What? They, like, actually look very, very similar. Did they get any money? Yeah. Since we're on this topic, Mariah, uh, are you allowed to talk about what happened to your mom? Her name when somebody else had the same name. I, you, oh, sure. You, so I got to clear the air. Oh, okay. yeah, be clear careful. the air. Yeah, this is really funny about Mariah's mom. The other day, <laughs> <laughs> the other day, I don't know how my sister found this article, but there was a news article. My sister texted it in the family group chat and she was like, mommy's one letter away from never getting another job again. And I was like, what is this? And I clicked it. My mom's name is Tina Maria Amato. Uh-huh. And there was an article that said, Tina Marie Amato <laughs> accused of sexually assaulting student oh, <laughs> in classroom. Not good. <laughs> not one good. letter off from but, like, but like both work in schools, so it's like oh, horrible. Uh, Let me see if I can. Oh pull yeah, it that would like affect fuck up some Google searches when people yeah. are trying to do a background check. Just exactly. be like, well, look what I found. Mariah's mom trying to find a job and they just misspell the computer. Uh, Enter Google search. Uh, like uh, they're like, oh, I'm sorry, Miss Amato. But you- like most. <laughs> People don't usually Google search with the middle name, so Tina Amato is still coming up. That's true. Oh, yeah, yeah. You cl- click the images, yeah. There's got to you know? be there's got there's got to be a way around that. Where like nobody's Google searching you going Zayn Ahmed Hijazi. Sometimes your I mean I, I'm sure your mom would always I, if I was your mom I would always in the interview be like by the way if you're doing background check just. Yes, there is someone. There's up. two. Yeah, two, there's two Tina Amato. By the way, I'm this one. Obviously, this is the predator. You know what? That would be a great icebreaker. They get a good laugh. They yeah. make you know, like personality higher. It is. Come on, come on board. It is, and you know what? They're gonna remember that yeah. for a long time. And that's how you. That's how you usually get the job. Is something that's memorable. Yeah. It's so crazy to look at that face and know that it has the same. Name is your mom. Yeah. Tina Marie Amato, 28. She does not look 28. No, she does not. Pleaded guilty. Three counts of taking indecent liberties with a minor by custody. I love how mm. they word things. Yeah. Don't Just make it sound it. nice. <laughs> yeah. Say how disgusting yeah, it is. They always make like that sound nice. Sexual relationship with student. April 12th on my dad's birthday. So there we go. <gasps> On Another your father's your they father's. are, and they're putting your, they're putting the date, <laughs> <laughs> husband date of birth. No, this, no, this checks it out. All Everything is it all back. This checks out. Wait, wait, uh, she's, <laughs> wait, is she in jail? This is woman? She, is she like yeah, she's the, in jail. Oh. She, no, she's, she's in purgatory like, right now. She's 23. She's our target audience. She's just like on the treadmill and is like, you gotta be kidding, <laughs> kidding me. <laughs> she's messaged in the past, Mariah, our mom, <laughs> I have the same. I'm sorry, only three months in jail? No. That's it? I don't get it. That's crazy. <sighs> what I don't is understand. going on? I don't get it. After three months, she's going to- How old is this kid, the child? Got to be high school, 15 years old. This just happened, right? Um, I actually don't know. Oh, no. Two, oh, 2012. 2012. How did she find this? Oh, Ooh. it's the They're best, to- though, when there's someone that you like already like think is fishy, and you Google that name, and just court cases come up. You're like, busted. Bingo. Wait, you can- well, I don't want to say the incident, but like there was a friend who was like, thought they were getting screwed over by somebody. And I was like, okay, let me look up this person. They've had three court cases against them. Yeah. Mm. Probably don't sound like the best person. Matt, I want to be more like you and like look up stuff like that. Like just uh, do a little background check. Just yeah. kind of. I forget that you can look up arrest <laughs> records and. You can yeah. look up a lot more than you think. Uh-huh. It depends on. It's the crazy. St- it depends on the state. Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our sponsor of this podcast, Seat Geek. Ooh, speaking of Seat Geek, I am so excited for Coachella this year. Ooh. We're going in like two weeks, mm. and I am ready to hit the sun and the music, baby. That's right, baby. And where are we getting our tickets? Seat Geek! With over 28 million downloads, Seat Geek is the number one rated ticketing app out there, baby. And if you didn't know, there are more than 70,000 events every single day on Seat Geek, including concerts, sports, festivals, and more. Exactly. And they got so many artists out there right now that are out, like Drake, the Jonas Brothers, Post Malone, and the 1975 are on tour. You don't want to miss that. And yeah. Okay, says, yeah, and they put all the tickets across the web in one place to make sure you're getting a good deal. Each ticket is rated on a scale of 1 to 10, so look for the green dots. Green means it's a good deal, and red is... 
P-U. Get it out of here. Every ticket is backed by their buyer guarantee, and SeatGeek is the only site that lets you return your tickets ahead of the event with swaps. Settle down. Settle down. <laughs> Call me, hold your horse. <laughs> we got you covered. All you have to do is use code UNFILTERED for $20 off tickets at SeatGeek. Exactly. Again, that's $20 off your first purchase with promo code UNFILTERED. Make sure you click the link in our description box below to download the app and get started today. Thank you, SeatGeek, for sponsoring this podcast and sending us on our way. We love you. Also, do you know how there's these like accounts now? I feel like I may have talked about it, where Instagram accounts will show a mug shot. Like it's Instagram accounts that people follow. Yeah, like, hey, we just this talked is about this. City. Uh, this is the mug shot. But do you know how... They, so someone owns the private Instagram account that puts out all the mug shots. They sit there and right when they see it, they put it on, sum up the whole caption, be like, oh, this is your person who lives in your neighborhood, blah, blah, blah. But it could be any of us. If you got a DUI, this place has it. Okay. If you want to get that removed, guess how much you have to pay that Instagram account? Um, oh, this person is just charging an amount? So this person will charge the account because they have the cloud. Everyone else has to Google deep in to find right. it. Right. They they have the public post shaming you that the whole city is following. $10,000 is what they wow. take. So this kid or whoever runs those mugshot accounts just sit there and be like, yeah, I'll take it down if you just pay me $10,000. It sounds it, so illegal. Yeah. it's But it's not. It's not illegal, right? Like, obviously not, because because it's cause public, public information. Public information. They're just what they're doing they is taking the it for hide. They have the clout. They have yeah. all the attention. Oh, that on just it. sounds so wrong. There's some arrests, but it's like you know what? You deserve that. But like, there's some that is just like Duh. that is like. Do we really a need that on that there? Is an yeah, unethical, it's a hustle. It's like an unethical. It's like um, pack hustle. Yeah, it's like that guy that goes around stealing dogs and then waits for the reward to be posted. Oh, and then and then you just go bring the dog back and get the reward. You're saying that like. Do you know somebody, a, do you know somebody a, that just, does that? There was this guy that was just talking about doing it. Mm. <laughs> I wish I thought about yeah, that. Yeah, that's a good, good got, business. I, I, Once this shit ends, maybe you could do, be a dog stealer. Especially in LA, people wanting their Frenchies back. Oh, yeah. yeah. $10,000 reward. You, you can start with Leah's. I knew somebody who thought that, you know, in Ingrid Goes West, how she like, she kidnaps her dog yeah. as a way of getting closer to uh -huh. Elizabeth Olsen. Smart. I knew a girl who was like, friends with the writer and like had that idea for a script and she told him about it and then he went and wrote that movie and she was always like that was my fucking idea mm. oh wait really yeah but well, she was always this person i knew was so frustrated that that was like the opening bit of like how a person could lure themselves into being best friends with you is by like is this your dog i just found yeah. him like, oh my god we've been looking for forever please come in and then like and oh. you know what i bet you that's how every movie is made it's just like that situation somebody overhears a conversation yep. and then they write it down and it's their idea yeah that's hollywood for you babe oh you keep Welcome. you keep speaking, you, of, speaking hollywood, of hollywood go ahead. why do i feel like why do i feel we're both about to say the same thing i say at the same time yeah One, three two, two three P quiet P on set <laughs> Oh, oh, P. Diddy. P. Diddy. Oh, oh I, I Wait, we already talked about Quiet On Set. N no. They're releasing two more episodes. I no, saw, they're not. Yes. Two more episodes. There's more I stories. There's no way. Yeah. I swear. They just posted it like yesterday night. I thought they closed it out. No. No. I think there's going to be more stories. There's more. Hopefully those victims get some money off of it. It's kind of just, hopefully there's no one who's like, mm, this is going to be good business. We're going to sell this trauma and then we're going to make them wait and then we're going to make some more money. But yeah, just so I just wanted to point that out because we yeah. talked about it last episode. And I, I honestly, I know there's a lot more out there, especially in that Nickelodeon world. I just mm -hmm. didn't think that there would be more to like come out on camera and say something. Mm -hmm. um, um, but, but yes, Mariah. The P. Diddy stuff is. P. Diddy stuff. I didn't crazy. get too far into it because like in my head, it just, it just seems It can only take weird. so much. Well, we, yeah. won't, we yeah. won't know officially yet like what they, we just know that he was being he's being raided. That's yes, all we know. Because they know something. People are making speculations of why he's being raided. People are saying that he's like the Epstein of of the rap uh, world, of like yeah. the hip hop industry. Wow. And that he's been like secretly blackmailing a lot of other people, trafficking all of that. Don't come for for us for defamation. Oh, allegedly, this is right, all right. allegedly. That's, how, that's what you say. Allegedly, then, allegedly. Then, and when um, they have to raid the home, they know something's in there. Yeah, like they got tipped off some information where they were like, look in. The second drawer in uh -huh. his closet, there's a fake bottom, and inside there are albums. Can, like, can, I, can, I, say, can I say something that's a little different like types of conspiracy albums. theory? Whatever, conspiracy yeah. theory. I, I just like, 
Uh, do it, Zane. I believe it. I like in some cases. I believe that FBI like there like raids will happen not only to find evidence on that person, but I think also to extract evidence yep. to I agree. cover certain people. I believe this because. When people say like, oh, no one's above the law. There are people above the law. There's a lot of people Money above talks. the law. Money talks. And there's people, Yeah, like we have to remember that there are people that own the FBI. The FBI does just doesn't come out CIA, of nowhere. FBI. And they're just at the top. There are people up that own the FBI. Them and their friends you're are right. always that's going to be good. That's because why it's so sick. If you own a company, you think you're getting, or not own a company, but if you own like some section of law enforcement, you think you're going to get in trouble? You, when you're their boss, absolutely not. You're always going to have your name kind of cross off the list. When you get stopped for a speeding ticket, if you're a cop, what usually happens? You get off. You get off. They it don't give pretty- you that ticket because you're like kind of, you're a part they of look them. out for each other. Exactly. They- and I'm not saying like, that's mm-hmm. horrible. Like, it's just a normal thing. It's like, if, if I was in an agency or something and you wanted to get a job and what I would, I'm going to, I'm going to probably help you get that job because you're my friend. You know, mm-hmm. it's I know you it makes sense. So why would it not make sense in an F in a crazy case it could. where it involves FBI? Look at all the people who got away with things yeah. because of their pa- their higher power. Yeah. Epstein got crazy. away for so long and they right. knew about him for years yeah. and years yeah. and years and years. But that's But so he had wh- like politicians like lassoed into it. Too. It doesn't matter. It's yeah. it's just money. It's money. Did right. you see the Nickelodeon logo is Epstein's Island? I saw that. I was yeah, like, God but that it. is the, like the, the biggest the, stretch what, ever. The, the, the one that just made me like, oh, come on, the foot logo. Yeah, I'm like, that was, yeah. The foot yeah. logo is wild. It's, it's, <laughs> or like, or, it's crazy that like we just, <laughs> or, just went right over our heads. That the, the P. Diddy stuff has been talked about for a while. Now people are bringing up old interviews and mm-hmm. tweets and stuff of the people that everybody thought was crazy. All their, them saying like P. Diddy did it. Usher, like all these names, Drake, whatever, all these names that are being dropped. It like Orlando Brown said so much shit, and everyone thought he was crazy. It is crazy. It, People, I wish he was a little bit more credible. Like, yeah, I know. Yeah, and what's wild? The registration to his house is in his daughter's name. That like, and there's these other like all of his assets are all in his like kids' names. And oh. already, if you're doing that, you because you Red don't flag. want it to get seized because they can't take the house. Because it's in his daughter's name. Wow. So okay. when they, I think, I believe that's what I read when it first came out. Uh, right when I saw that, I go, uh-uh. Yeah, he's busted. He's hiding something. They, Somebody posted a video of them outside of his house after the raid. And like, it was trash day. I saw that. I saw that. And they were like, I'm going to be digging through this trash. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, apparently somebody that used to like work for him, um, basically ratted out like who who, like his drug mule was that was like bringing the drugs to like sedate these women basically and people to do these like certain like sexual acts or whatever um the girl well the girl they they gave up the name to the guy that was like the mule or whatever and they ended up catching that guy at the airport they went and found who this person was and they busted him and on him he had the drugs that this person that like snitched that was talking about. And so it was true that this guy was the mule that was doing this. And they were like, if that's true and they just caught this guy for the drugs that they said he was having, yep. then it's just building like the credibility for this. It's like a stack of dominoes. It's all it's gonna unfold. wild. Wow. It's better not just fizzle out. I know. I know. Something's gotta I, it's, come out of it because this is connected to so many I things hate, that we don't even know about. I hate about. when shit fizzles out like this. Like something just so like there is just Way too much, like too many people are talking about this. There's so much evidence, and it just fizzles out. That Cat, like, Cat Williams was talking, yeah, dude. Was. I, dude, I bet you the FBI thing. was taking all that information just for the 2024 same. is gonna be the year. <laughs> Fifty Cent too. Fifty Cent, Ben talking about We're, all this. I'm waiting for Justin Bieber. Come on, you can do it. That th- he would never. He's just too big to be talking. They're, like all these people, like even like the quiet on set, like, you know, all the Ariana Grandes and all that, like they're never going to like come out and talk. Like, I just think <sighs> they're uh, maybe not, just, maybe not publicly, but if I was Justin Bieber and I knew something, I would be like, Hey, anonymous tip, or just be like, I'll tell you what you need to know. Please don't put my name out there. No, you. The, the thing but is that it's not credible if there's not like there's. It's the not that is, credible without a name. The thing is, is that they're entitled to their own privacy and they're entitled to. Oh, I want this to sound right. Who, they're entitled who, who to their own narrative. About? If you are Bieber, if you are an Ariana yeah. Grande, they have you know transcended that 
And it would be noble of them to like stand yeah, alongside yeah. the other victims. But by them coming forward and being a part of it, then that shifts a lot of their focus and their narrative of the icon status that they've established. They don't want to like now be kind of known and drawn into all of this. And this is their yeah, story. And it's weird for the saying next, that out loud, they want to but focus true, on the, They yeah, want to yeah. focus on their albums. They want to focus on their tour. They don't want to have to deal with this whole new wave of drama. And that's a whole new section on their Wikipedia page about this yeah. whole scandal. They don't, they don't want it for to get in people's yeah. brain where they're tied and, and, to this. And, and just think about like th just their mental health too, like having to w go around for the next three years and all everybody and wants to ask you yes. about is something so traumatizing yeah. back then. Like, yeah. because that's all people will talk about is that. And then you're just like kind of, yeah, you not, I, not, not drag back in, but it's, it's just something they've probably been fighting to get out of. Yes. It's just crazy how people create just a nasty web of all of that. And yeah. not, and you're in having so much success, so much fame, all that. And you think, I'm not going to get caught. Huh? Like what type of ego maniac? I don't, yeah. With the amount of people that like you, that like that know what yes. you've done is crazy. That like you just, or you're just, ego so big where you just don't think it's anything's going to happen because you're just that big. And th this many or people know. Or you think you could just pay off whoever to like. Yeah. But you, like, you know what's crazy? I would be like, sure. Shh. I would take the money immediately. Go, <laughs> go <to laughs> give like give them. I, I'd give money to. Because I don't know. They just, have something against you. They lured you in, filmed you doing something that was really bad. But there's no contract that's gonna get me videos. in trouble for taking the money and telling somebody what you did that was horrible. Well, that's what like, they what do. Kind of, they like they. It's all blackmail. Yeah, it's a they blackmail. Dr they drug you and then they film like. Hush money and bad blackmail. shit going on. Oh, uh, the filming. Yeah, I guess that's. Like, and then that's it's like they catch you. It's like they own say you. something about me. This video goes out, and it's like, and it's not he leaked it. He will give it to the right person, in the right hands, yeah. and it will look bad on you, not for you to be like, oh, th this person. Uh, and then they it. and then they own you once they have that on you, and then it's like, they can make you do whatever. They're mm -hmm. like, you want me to put that video out? No, you're gonna come here and you're gonna do this right now. Yeah, and mm -hmm. then it's just never uh, ending. Yeah, awful. When is blackmail ethical? <laughs> It's never. It's there, there's so many different forms of blackmail if you really think about it. There's like legal ways and there's like illegal ways. Yeah. If you really think about it. I'm trying to think. Yeah. Isn't blackmail like, isn't a cease and desist almost like blackmail? You better take this down or we're going to do this. No, because there's not like something being dangled above you. Yeah. Like, you're not being like, that's tormented. just like a demand. That's, yeah, that's a demand. It's a legal demand because you're. To me, to me, it's blackmail. So. Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our next sponsor of this podcast, BetterHelp. He, tell me right now, how is your social battery right now? Drained. Yeah, same. It can be easy to ignore our social battery and spread ourselves thin, especially with social gatherings picking up after the winter. <laughs> mm -hmm. And that's why we all need therapy. It can give you the self-awareness to build a social life that doesn't drain your battery. Mm -hmm. So if you're thinking about starting therapy, you should give BetterHelp a try, baby. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. It's super simple, too. All you have to do is fill out a brief questionnaire and get matched with a licensed therapist. And you can switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. And what's so good about BetterHelp is that you could do it from the comfort of your own mm -hmm. home. You know what I mean? You don't have to, like, leave your house, go sit in an office, in a waiting room, waiting for other people. to. People are coughing on you. Exactly. Baby, the times we're in, we want to do everything from the comfort of our own home. And it's just not nice to talk to somebody that's not your friend, your girlfriend, your mom, your dad, your grandma. You're talking to somebody that can give you actual good advice and they're just there to help you. And don't we all need help? Find your social sweet spot with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash Dana Heath today to get 10% off your first month. That's better, H-E-L-P.com slash Zane and Heath and you're going to get 10% off your first month. Thank you, BetterHelp, for sponsoring today's episode. We love you, and thank you for taking care of our hearts, minds, and brains. I love it. Blackmail, though, is such a perfect wording. It's for so what it is. It, is. it, it's exact, it it's, sounds exactly what it is. Blackmail. Yeah. It's a beautiful, beautiful word. It's blackmail. The first person who thought of blackmail must have been just like, oh. I got it. <laughs> I figured it all out. Just took out. one, two it. words, just like, I did it. Oh, yeah. I bet back in the day, if you just had a photograph, like, of, like it was, must have been so easy to blackmail people back then. I think with just but, a photograph. But think no. about like or, I would have I would have felt much more confident back in the day, knowing that it was a single photocopy. Now it's a video that could be immediately multiplied in seconds. Right, you got to send it to one person. You can't go track that down. If somebody's like, "Well, I got this picture right but here of you. you," I would 
run for that picture. But you if know you were mean? like a guy it, and you hung it. around like, you know, the Coco Cabana and you saw that this guy is the wealthiest man in like uh, town, he's having an affair and you take that picture and you meet him in a different town where he his wife and kids and he's living happy going, I got that photo from the Coco Cabana. I want $1,000 a week or this goes to the top press. Like there's all that shit. But, where, I feel, but it's worse now though. I Oh. What do you mean? Uh, I feel like, but but that, I feel like back then it was just like, Oh, it just, it was because it was just so hot, mails. so new. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like you could more, it just more, uh, it was just more raw. Yeah. Oh, I was watching. Cause you the, can't Photoshop it. And he's like, this is the real thing. Mm. I got the real thing in my hand. I was watching Polaroid a movie. Mm-hmm. I was watching a movie recently. What was it? Paper moon. And there was a guy who was like a scammer in town. And what he did would he, he would look up if there was an obituary of somebody who had died in a town. And then he would go to the family of whoever died and be like, uh, does so and so live here? And they go, they just passed away. And he goes, Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. He just or- he ordered a Bible. Um, this was like a Bible like that he ordered. Uh, who do I make this out to? I'm supposed to like collect money for the Bible. And people are like, Oh my God, he bought a Bible right before he passed away. Damn. Let me get my checkbook. I can't believe that he bought the, a Bible. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Like, and so it was just. And so he goes town to town. People would sell Bibles to families saying that the person who just passed away had just ordered that Bible before they died. Wow. Right. And like, this is a place in hell for that, huh? 100%. Deepest level. And he has like the letter press, like he would press their name, like a personalized their name on the Bible. Go, his name's written right here. He ordered it to his I'll name. I'll tell you what, scammers are the hardest workers I've ever Ooh, known. They're so good. <laughs> do, you, they, do they really deserve everything? Because they, 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 they hustle. They, yeah, they work hard. That's a hustle. I just watched this one story about this guy who was getting fake social security cards made for like unborn kids and then build the credit up for like seven months. And then he was buying homes in their name. What? And then he ended up. How do you get away with that? How do you do that? He was crazy. Unborn kids. Like kids like not Like people that didn't exist. Oh. Like saying he would call into like the hospital and be like, Hey, my my wife just had a kid uh, six months ago. We did a, a water birth at home. Can we I, just get it I registered? I totally forgot to uh, mail in the the thing to let you guys know so we can get the birth certificate. And then he would like falsify that like there was a water birth at home. What year was this? Not that long ago. Oh, whoa! So he would do that, and he was like creating babies, right? But they don't need to bring the baby in for fingerprints, proof, nothing. It's just. Send over the information. I guess he was the first person to realize nobody was verifying like this type. Or, of stuff. or you say like, what are they? What's the person that does the um at home birth? Uh, the doula, the midwife, the midwife. You like say that there was like the midwife or something as like a proof type thing or whatever. But yeah, he was making all sorts of like social security um cards for these fake babies, and then he would open an account for a credit card. In that social security this number, is a brilliant would pay scam. it off because he had money, so he was paying it off, building these credits up, and then he would go and buy houses, and he would just lie about the age of the person that social security card it yeah. was. So he was buying houses in like a really cheap neighborhood that were like fifty thousand dollars. Uh huh. But he knew somebody that was in real estate, and if you paid extra, they would appraise the house at like two hundred thousand. Okay. So he was buying houses for 50,000, 50,000, 50,000 with these fake people. Uh-huh. Getting it appraised for 200,000, then he had built this entire community neighborhood of 200 plus thousand dollar homes that he only technically paid 50,000 for, then was like flipping them and getting like this because is a brilliant because they would scam. That's because wild. nobody because they would True. check the comps of the area and the house next door sold for two hundred on paper and the house next to that was two hundred so people are like oh my god I guess these houses are really worth this, this is much a good, money. it's a good neighborhood okay, that's yeah. where it's messed up crazy dude but I like that nobody really is getting besides the people who are buying the houses over something that is undervalued that's that's where but then but gets then hurt. he would go like but take nobody... out loans against these houses that were valued at this so he was. Yeah, it's bad. It's terrible, bad practice. But, but it's, a, so, it's a genius so, loophole. But like this type of stuff. Oh, this just happened last year. Oh my this God. This stuff I'm like, I'm okay with because like. You're okay shit, with it. That shit it. takes work, man. Like this guy was working <laughs> a brains. full-time job doing this. This wasn't like a scam where you just go like rob somebody. This and is make like, like a, a catch me if you can kind of yeah, a thing. How do you this th- is, how do you think of, how do you think where about this? Someone idea? should hire this guy to help figure out how a company can't be scammed. This like, guy was waking security up security consulting. Yeah. And like putting on like a nice outfit and like going to work every day to do this shit. Yeah. 
I just, I, the paranoia though, I couldn't, even if I was pulling that off, I know me, couldn't sleep. Not knowing that like I'm doing something, just the paranoia of like, I'm doing a lie every day. And if someone found out, I Gone. serve years in prison. But it's crazy that there's still schemes out there that haven't been done yet. Yeah. Uh -huh. And there's going to be a first person to find and find out how to do it. And then they're pro most likely going to get away with it until the next person does it. And then they're like, then they get caught because they already implemented a way to catch those type of schemes. That's so crazy to me that there's still thousands of ways in the future that you can oh, scam people. Speaking of another scam, did you see the kid that put his legs in uh, dry ice? No. no. What? This is like. This is too far. Oh, well, obviously. These two kids came up with this idea to like commit insurance fraud because like the and one the benefits of disabled. Yeah, the one friend told him disability? like you'll get like over a million dollars. Yeah, so they came up with the idea to amputate, get their legs amputated. So they tried. What did they try the first time they, that didn't work? Yeah. So then they're like, we got to go harder. So they went and they oh the kid gosh. put his feet in a bucket of dry ice for. Ten thing. hours. Ten hours. Ten hours. And they zip, Commitment. They zip tied him to the chair to make sure he wouldn't get up. This but, is. But they went into the hospital because he clearly had frostbite, right? Mm hmm. And, and they, how did they prove it? Like, what was the. Like, they what? didn't. They gave them this whole story and they didn't believe him. So his legs are amputated, yeah. right? But the police caught on to him and knew what he was doing. So he got no benefits. Oh and they got my. busted for trying to commit insurance fraud. He got arrest, arrested on top of not having a leg anymore. Dude, people have worms in their brains, man. This is like. They didn't try to come up with a brilliant. Like, they didn't. If I was going to dry ice my leg for 10 hours to try to get some insurance money, yeah. I would have a whole story fucking yeah. lined up to the T. Everybody around me is in the same, has the same story all lined up. That's insane. A Check student persuaded by a friend to get his legs amputated for a 1.3 million insurance scam wound up getting only 7,200 that he now has to return. <laughs> oh, my God. oh my Now you goodness. have no money and no legs. <laughs> This, is, this was in Taiwan. There's a picture of him sitting in dry ice. Oh, thing. gosh, yeah. I can't. They zip tied him to it so he couldn't get out. Oh, Why would you do both? Is it, a, is it like 500,000 per leg? 600 per leg. Buy one, get one free. Yeah, buy one, oh, get one double. Jesus. Oh, I would at least uh, have one on me just in case it didn't work. Well, what a rough ride of an episode yeah, today. Yeah, that was Ooh. wild. Wild. Okay. Thanks Y'all stay watching. safe out there. Mercury and retrograde. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come and get you. Watch out for peeping toms. Mm -hmm. And watch out for the P. Diddies. But yeah, thank you guys for tuning in to another episode. We really appreciate it. Uh, you can watch these videos every single Tuesday, youtube.com slash Zane and he. And obviously the audio form day before on Mondays yep. on your favorite podcast platforms. We also have a Patreon, patreon.com slash Zane and Heath. We do a bonus episode every single month. We do a live Q&A every month. We have uh, an unwind section. So basically we keep these cameras rolling for an extra 15, 20, 30 minutes. We just... It's an extended cut of the podcast, um, and we do that for every single episode. Um, so make sure to check it out, patreon.com slash Zane and Heath. Amazing. Uh, we love you guys so much. Thank you, and we will see you guys next week. And Good Unwinders, night. we'll see you in five seconds. Peace. Bye.